All right, hey everybody. Today we're gonna to go through like a real quick um, assembly of the Aerosport Products RV10 landing light with the Baja Design Squadron Pro LED uh, bulb cluster. Um, you're gonna get with your package a couple sets of screws. You got a small package of screws here for mounting the bezel and the light to your housing. You got some half inch 632 flathead 100 degrees for putting your lens onto your housing. That'll be using these threaded inserts here. And then we've got some 5/8 632 100 degrees with some stainless washers and lock nuts and that'll be for fastening your housing through the cowling and into your ring here. We won't really go over that too much in this video, but just so you know, that's what that set of screws are for right there. Set those off to the side. First thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take this uh, Baja ball here. You're gonna take the screws out of the stock bezel. These are a two and a half M Allen wrench. They come out real quick and easy. First time they come out, they might be a little sticky. They got a little thread lock on them. Let's see out. Take the stock bezel off. Replace it bezel included in your kit from Aerosport Products. Basically just line everything up like that. You're going to want your your third mount hole up to the top by your two clear lenses. That's going to allow your two spots to be on the top. Your two uh, you know, driving combos. The spread out light will be down at the bottom. So you have your spread out light across the bottom and you'll have your two floods going straight down over top. Take these same screws that you got with your light, put them all back in there. Cheat, use a T handle here so we can go a little quicker. So be real careful when you're putting these screws in. You don't want any of uh, you know you don't want your driver to pop off and crack or scratch your lens on your LED light. Just kind of be careful and take your time here. You could use some blue Loctite if you wanted to to put these back in. It's kind of up to you. <clears throat> Once you get these all in here. that and what you want to do is take a four millimeter here you can take this mounting bracket off the light you won't need this for the application that you'll be using the bulb for pop all that stuff off you have your light ready to go in your housing. You'll use the three small pan head screws with lock washers.
Don't over tighten these. You really just need to run them until they're snug and the lock washer uh, you know, collapses down. If you really, really, really bear down on these, you may pull the threaded insert out of the urethane housing here. So that's what you got there. Housing on stall. Again, on these, you don't really want to bear down on too hard. You don't want to put any extra pressure on your lens. It might cause it to crack. Uh, just holding it in snug will be, be plenty of pressure here. So being careful you don't slip your screwdriver like I almost did right there and scratch your lens. And that is pretty much that. Light in the housing through your bezel, bezel connected through your urethane, lens on, and at this point you'd be ready to install through your cowling, run your screws through, you have your backing plate on, on your backing plate you can use, uh, you, know, you can put some nut certs on there if you want, it's drilled for them, um, that would be fine, we don't include nut plates, but if that's the way you want to do it, that is totally okay, you run everything through there and pinching it through the cowling with your provided hardware. If you have any questions about any of this, just feel free to email us at info at aerosportproducts.com. And thank you for watching.